All I can say is her walking just seemed a tiny bit off. You're sure she's not just trying to get out of riding in the rain? She looks fine to me. Could you check her right leg again? I'll be darned. There might be a speck of an abscess there. Is it serious? Could rightly seriously affect my business if folks knew you showed me up. I guess I know her so well, because she's all I got. Well, I reckon we'd better fix her up. Leave her for a while, and I'll soak her leg in turpentine and wintergreen. She'll be just fine. You hear that, girl? You'll be fine. Sounds like she's going to have company. What do I owe you? Well, if you don't show me up and run this next customer, by golly, we'll call it even. That's Jimmy's horse. Let's go, Mama! I think we got them all. Somebody count them. I found Jimmy's horse. What's going on? Thunder spooked him and they busted out the corral. I think we got them all. Let's get them into the barn. The colt is missing. We better get back out there and find her. Is this your coat? Yes, it is. Jesus, is there. What? Come on, let's go see Mama. Come on, boys, clear out. Let the mother feed him. Let him be. Come on. Top that fence. Ike, go on. Well, we're much obliged. Whatever you're doing here, I could use a couple of days' work. Well, we can't pay you. Well, we can feed you. You can stay in a tack room with me. I'll take it. What's your name? Ulysses. Well, I think we paid enough homage to this weather. Why don't we uh, all get some sleep, huh? Come on, boys. Time for bed. Where do you come from on a night like this, huh? What's the colored man doing out here? What do you mean? Back in Virginia, we're just not used to seeing them out. Out of their place? I don't mean that. You're a long ways from Virginia, kid. As long as he keeps doing my share of the work, he can stay as long as he wants. Your share? Shoot, Cody, I'd take that any day. Jimmy, we got a corral to fix. You're gonna need your jaw fixed waking up like that again. I'm scared. Hey, Jimmy, come out here and take a look at this. Keep him around for now, don't you think, Jimmy? <laughs> like 
like the job we did on the corral? Just do as good a job fixing the bunkhouse. Should have let us know you were going to tell that guy to do it. Could have gotten five more minutes sleep. I didn't tell him nothing. As miraculous as it may seem to you gentlemen, some people can manage to do the right thing without getting a kick in the pants. Remember that, Jimmy. Wake up, kid. Get everybody to Doc Wheeler's. Oh. 
Vete. Cut him down. What's going on here? You bastards! Look what you've done to him! Woman, you are addressing a representative from the state court of Missouri. And you will keep a civil tongue or I will withdraw the mercies I have just shown your husband. Mercies? Mercies? We give a man shelter for one night and you beat my husband near to death! Under the Fugitive Slave Bill of the U.S. Congress, the penalty for harboring a runaway is six months in jail plus a fine of $1,000. That would entitle us to confiscate your entire herd. I know what I'd confiscate. Instead, my men will now help bring your husband into the house, which I trust you will no longer share with the fugitives. Don't you touch him! You from these parts? Not exactly. Got some color in him. Some sass, too. You seen this man? He was here three nights ago. I'm Colonel Savage of the Missouri Militia. Where are you from? Near Sweetwater. I should be there presently. If you spot this man while riding, I expect to hear about it. <laughs> Now you tell them the shovels and the bicarbonate will be paid for out of the town funds, and you meet me in my office. Okay. Not going to lose this place? No, nah, just a barn. We got it under control. We're going to put a trench around it with some bicarb. If Doc needs a place to keep any animals, I got room in my stable. Thanks. But there's only one horse in there, and those kids managed to get her out. We didn't do nothing. It was Ulysses. Hey, fella. This the man? What you got there? I'm talking to these boys. I'm Marshal Kane. You talk to me. I'm Colonel Homer Savage of the Missouri Militia. We got a warrant for this here slave. This who you were talking about? Or what are the charges? Murder, insurrection. He cut his master's throat. We're taking him back to St. Louis for trial. Now, your warrant may mean something in a slave state, but this is a free territory and Sweetwater is a free town. Sir, I don't believe you understand. We're in the pursuit of an escaped slave, and you and your townspeople are duty bound to assist us under the penalty of federal law. You understand something? I make the law here. And you take another step sideways, and I'll show you how I back it up. Marshal, my men and I can be back here in less than a day. I prefer to come back peacefully, but no one will stand between me and my sworn duty. And no one tells me how to run my town. Sam, you just can't run these people out of town. If it's going to bring problems, we got to talk about this. You be here when we come back. That's what they pay me for. Town folks standing with Sam? Nope. And if I were him, I would not be looking forward to this town meeting they're having tomorrow. I can't say I blame them for being scared. After what I saw that militia, they're serious and crazy. Even if they are crazy, don't mean our friend they cut a throat or two. Maybe he is a killer. I don't know what he is, but he stuck his neck out for Katie. Maybe he just needs a place and is trying to prove he belongs here. One thing's for sure, he belongs to somebody. Yeah. I know where you come from, slavery's a way of life, but there's still some thinking you could do on that. We don't have much money. We'll work long hours, but at least all of us are free. Being somebody's property is the lowest life there is. Being somebody's property. Can you imagine? I could drive a man to murder. So, 
You ready to turn him in just because there's a law that says he's somebody's personal property? You're putting words in my mouth, Teaspoon. I'm, I'm just saying the way it is. Belong to Mr. Spoon. I'm fixing it for Ulysses. What little he was wearing got tore up at Doc Wheeler's. Well, all I can say is if town folk catch any trouble over him, we're all going to be held responsible. What is it? Nothing. Look, whoever he is, he's only going to be with us a short while. So let's not worry ourselves about him. I ain't worried. I ain't taking my eyes off him. Don't move! Uh, what's wrong, Buck? Get up, it's Emma! I just come to get this coat before I leave. Why are you sneaking out in the middle of the night? Oh, oh, oh Jimmy. Trouble's coming. My master was a drunk and a card player. He used to gamble away the slaves. I heard my mama was going to be sold, so I begged him not to separate us. But he beat me with a cane till I passed out. When I come to, my mama had been crying so much that she'd taken sick. I figured this was a blessing because you can't sell a sick slave. The master, he got mad. So he had her brought up to the house so he could whip all the sickness out of her. By the time I got up there, he was still whipping her. But she wasn't moving. So he decided to turn the whip on me. And I ain't standing for no more whippings. So I cut him with a knife. Mama was dead on the floor. That's what they call murder. Why'd you run? Why didn't you tell the sheriff your story? Slaves ain't got no right to testify. To the state of Missouri, I'm the leader of an uprising. They fancies me as the next Nat Turner. They ain't gonna stop until they bring me back. That's why I got to leave. That's why you gotta stay. You can't run forever. You people have already done enough. Uh, we ain't done nothing. You worked for everything you got. My people may not have scars on their back, but they know injustice. They don't run from it. Where I come from, the slaves were just there. Never had occasion to give them any thought. But all I can say is you're one heck of a man, and I'm ready to stand behind you. You'd be risking your life if you challenged that Missouri militia. I don't know. It could be risky for them. No offense, but ain't no way they're going to let a lot of you stand up to them. What about the whole town of Sweetwater? What do you mean? There's a town meeting tomorrow. Why don't you come with me? Town folk are tough. They're fair. If we talk right, just might see your point. You'd be risking a town full of enemies. I can't ask you to do that. You don't have to ask. Ike says we were never that popular in town to begin with. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Ike.
you know what to do for the fire? I was hired out to a steamboat. Caught fire outside of Norris. I was trapped in the cargo deck for about 12 hours. Don't suppose they let you see much of it. Right here in New Orleans, some kind of city. Hell, they can't stop a man from looking. They got so many millionaires and houses 50 feet high. The women, they wear well boned corsets. Cause, uh, given my druthers, I'd rather be here with y'all. <laughs> so would I. Yeah, you wouldn't look too good in a corset anyway. <laughs> you watch. Townspeople are gonna come through for you, too. Well, we'll see. I'm betting on it. Pony Express riders that knows Ulysses. themselves lawmen and then they did this to him I don't see why she made you ride out here because he's our marshal she didn't make me Earl oh. easy I wanted to see how you were come on sit down oh. there how many men they have it was 12 of them and they had long barrel colts hunting rifles and plenty of shot you gonna be able to do something Sam I'd know what I'd do if it was up to me. But the town folk called a meeting. Town meeting? Today? Yeah, we're headed there now. <clears throat> and so am I. Now hold on, Earl. You're in no shape to ride into town. Hell, I ain't. I may not be up to more than flapping my jaw, but nothing's gonna keep me from saying my piece. Twelve armed men can pretty much do as they please. What are you gonna tell the town folk? As much of the truth as they're willing to hear. What do you think? Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. There's no one on the schedule, but there's someone coming awful fast. It's Lou! Let the devil himself got in your way. You're doing Sunset Creek in two minutes. How about a posse, Missouri State Militia, headed this way? Get six fresh horses ready now. Come on! 
You get to that meeting in Sweetwater. We ain't leaving you here. It'll buy time to warn the town. Then you stick with them and you listen. I don't want to start a roar right here. Go on, get. you are, you'll submit to a lawful search of your house and grounds under the authority of the Fugitive Slave Act. Well, mercy me. <clears throat> that sounds pretty official. Of course, I'll have to ask for some documentation, please. <clears throat> Where the damn are my spectacles? How you doing? Sure wish I knew how to read. My Aunt Sarah tried to teach me once, but she had the rheumatism. Her clothes, they all smelled of liniment. I couldn't concentrate. Well, that's kind of nice. Stand aside, you old fool. Search the premises! I said open it. You ain't listening. There's nothing in there for you to see. Remove him. Stand back. Sonny, you're gonna get hold from that thing here. Oh. Oh. Have you any idea the price of chicken feed these days? I have a mind to whip you for obstructing justice. We got fresh tracks heading straight for town. Call in and mount up. <laughs> Ulysses Jones has a knife to the throat of every white family in the South. By God, I'll find it. Well, that's a damn shame. Oh. The shame is we end up protecting ignorant white trash like yourself. If I wasn't a representative from the state of Missouri, you'd answer for that remark. I'd answer at that. Hey, man, let's move out! hunted like a dog when all he ever did was defend himself against a lifetime of abuse look at his wrists look at them i say whoever did this is the one that ought to be hunted now are we gonna stand by and let him be dragged back and hung well, I don't know. Lady, what you were saying ain't exactly news to us. This kind of thing's been going on for a long time. Now, personally, I ain't got nothing against slavery, especially when it means taking on the whole state militia. Yeah, and what's the militia? Tired guns in uniform. Whatever they are, why should we take them on? Because it's the decent thing to do. We are decent to one another, but this boy belongs to someone else. Right. You don't belong to us. These men are demons. Here's the proof. Look. Look. And all I did was give that man a sip of water and a place in my barn. And if he needed it again, I'd do it tomorrow. And damn all of them to hell! You got something to say. You best say it now. My grandmama was born a slave. My mama was born a slave. Slavery is the only life I ever knew. 
and when they killed my mama, I did what any son would have done. I ain't never asked nobody to fight my battles for me. All I ask is you understand this. They take me back to Missouri. They will hang me to teach all the other slaves a lesson. And I'd rather die first. I don't talk too good, but my wife speaks for me. So let's have some quiet. Thank you, Eli. How we are God-fearing people. We came from a free state to make this a free territory. But even in this church, every Sunday, we hear it's better to keep South and North together than it is to oppose the abomination of slavery. Why, these militia savages are a judgment upon you. <laughs> Nobody's in favor with what they did to you. And if you boys like this here, Negra, that's good enough for me. But we stand up to this militia, no telling what'll happen. And he ain't worth risking our whole town. They're gonna lick Missouri spit every single one. Now hang on, hang on here. As proud as we may be to call Sweetwater home, if we don't stand up for what's right, we might as well help that posse tear it all down. Because right. it's not going to be worth the dust it's built on. Emma, I don't like slavery, but I got a family. And I got to think right. of them first. That's right. Now, let me tell you all something. Now, now, I don't give a damn whether this boy is white or black or even purple. This boy made his own bed to lie in. We know he killed somebody to get out. But that's what he wanted to do. That's what he done. But that's his problem. But now he's made it our problem. And we don't need no outsiders coming in here and trying to tell us how to do it at the point of a gun. I say we call in the army. Army's at least two days away. I guess you were wrong. Can't count on these people to do squat. They're just trying to protect what's theirs, Jimmy. I guess it's tough on them. Then we'll handle this ourselves. Jimmy? You take Billy, Lou, and I, go to my office and get some rifles. Get up high somewhere. Buck, you take the lookout. You and Emma, you're going to lead Ulysses past the militia. Past the militia where? Back to Emma's where they've already searched and he can get a fresh horse. I'll try and get him to the other side of town. There's 12 of them, Sam. I'll talk to him real nice now. Hey, you just get your guns ready and pray you don't have to use them. Come on. Now, we can't force these folks to make up their minds. You're going to have to take a chances with us. I've been taking chances all my life. Virginia boy. You want chances with me? You know, for a slave, you sure talk a lot. Rest must be watching the road. Hope we pull this off. This won't be a gunfight, it'll be a massacre. This town may never be the same. Sam ain't gonna sweet talk those boys. was issued by the Superior Court of the State of Missouri for the arrest and return of the murdering slave known as Ulysses Jones. And I'm authorized to use reasonable support in executing it. Look here. If they see us, you back off and you let me handle this. I already told you you talk too much. I am serious. Oh, 
You, know, you may have a warrant, but I have a town to protect. Well, I suggest you remand him to my custody immediately. He's in the docks office the south end of town. Show me. I'm gonna go back him up. No. It's buying time. We don't want to get in the way. liar. Found out to be on the side of town. That nigger's still here. Yes, sir. Sir. Sit tight. We got company. Come stop unless, of course, they got no right to search us. Pull up there. I got horses waiting for water and hay. You want to talk? You got to ride alongside. You ready? I said, hold it. Get your hands off our mule. Jimmy, look. Get out of the way. There he is. Run, you lizards, run. I'll get him. Get the iron. Don't you whip me, I swear to God. I'll show this town what the law means to the likes of him. You whip me as God is my witness. I kill you. You got no right. Don't let him do it. Leave him be. These two for that slave. Are you sure he's worth that? Ain't no need of nobody else dying. Throw your guns down here. Stand aside. If anything happens to those two people, I don't think any of you are going to get out of town alive. And I don't think that crazy colonel's worth it. Now drop them. Now just keep right on riding, as long as God puts ground under your feet. Pay no attention to him. You got us, colonel. Hold that slave down for a proper whipping. That's an order. Damn it, I said that's an order. Think of your women and kids back in Missouri. Stand your ground. You're not gonna let this digital killer get away with it, are you? Free old yellow. Don't you 
you disobey my orders? You coward! Stand your ground! I'll have you off court, Marshal! Will no one administer justice to this devil? Food and clothes mostly. Just so as you understand, we're not trying to get rid of you. You don't have to go. You're safe here. Now, the price on me just went up. There's gonna be a lot of folk around here looking for that reward. Won't be as tough as the last bunch. It's a lot warmer here than this in Canada. Yes, it is. But there's something called the Underground Railroad. Well, they brought a lot of folk like me and helped them get started out with new lives. I want to do my share. <sighs> but it is a shame to leave this place behind. I'm third generation born in America. Even though we ain't free in our own country. Won't always be that way. Yeah, that's what I try to tell myself. But it's going to take a... A lot of hard times to get there. I just hope one day you and I can sit down together and not worry about who belongs where. That's what we all hope. Well, I'd best be using that head start I got. Thank you. Get back to work. Mm -hmm.